you and I are going to go through, the, the gates are going to be open. You know, I've been trying to sleep all day. All afternoon, I've been trying to take a nap. It doesn't work. And it occurred to me there's Abel and the daughter of the Malshantov. The morning of Rosh Hashanah, everybody is in shul. And they're waiting to hear the chauffeur. And the Malshantov is looking to see if his daughter, holiest Neshama Abel, if she's there, and she's not there. And she, he goes, and where is she? She's still sleeping in bed. He's a little bit upset. Rosh Hashanah happened to be sleeping late on Rosh Hashanah. So Abel says, Mommy always says that if you, if you sleep, the kid who sleeps latest gets the biggest portion. Because of course, on a regular Shabbos, the kids are waking up 5 or 6 o'clock and tell them to go back to sleep. So the Malshamta went into the shul with the chauffeur and he said, You're right, Shalom, master of the world. My holy daughter, Adela, reminded me that we tell children that the one who sleeps the longest gets the biggest portion. Rebbeinu Shalom, I know we've been asleep. But doesn't that mean that we need a good year this year? I know some of us haven't been ready for Elul, and it's going to take tonight to get us into Elul for the first time, maybe. So maybe we're sleeping. But don't we sleep just so that we can be able to get up? And if there's one thing that wakes us up, it's the idea that when we see somebody else that needs us, and we're there, we can do something for them. That's the whole reason why we're in this world. If each one of us can think what it is that we're here to do in this world, think for one moment, who are the people that rely on each one of us with the job that each of us does? Who are those people? And what is it that you do for them? And what is it that they are able to receive from you? And we know there's, obviously, you have your children, you have your friends, and you invest a tremendous amount in them. But do you know the schuss of what it's like to be able to mamish give somebody something and just help them? They're somebody else's child still to be able to help them? That's the schuss. That's the schuss of Pesachina, of just giving unconditionally. Tonight is a night that we raise money. It doesn't go to the Kalbach Shul. It doesn't go for salaries or for overhead or for programming, which are all worthwhile and you should all consider. But it goes to Ani and it goes to people. It goes to our Chesed Fund. And I can tell you what's special about this Chesed Fund is that it's administered in a way that it has a very powerful effect. So that, so it can be, every dollar you give to Nami is useful, but sometimes if you know who you're dealing with, it can even be, it can even work, even the, the dollar can get scratched. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're about to begin, but if we can get a few people to pledge a little bit, and then Kodesh Barakum's gonna look down and say, you guys are amazing. We're going to give you all an amazing year. And uh, this is just you know, an opening. So if anybody wants to 
We'll start with anybody who wants to pledge 500 and up. Morning, look, this is an uh, ankle of the holy remain. Okay, so in honor of Morty Luke is a very special Shabbat, 1800 in, in honor of the most famous Shabbat in New York, Kabbalah. Thank you. Anybody else? 500. 